it's two days before Pesach, and I find myself awash in all sorts of details involved in the community's preparation for Pesach, my own preparation, the anxiety about getting Seder just right, and I find myself looking at these symbols that my whole life have been all around me. So for instance, at the beginning of Seder, I put on this kittel, I put on this robe, and it's a very powerful piece of clothing. We wear it on Yom Kippur, we wear it when we die, we wear it when we get married, we wear it at Seder, and it's a symbol of vulnerability, it's a symbol of simplicity. We all are equal, we all are the same. And in fact, that leads me to wonder about the symbols within Pesach, within the Passover Seder itself. So we have matzah, maybe not like this, but maybe not so much more edible sometimes <laughs> than this. Well, here is this symbol of freedom. During the Seder, we take a matzah, even before we eat one, and we break it in half. It's a symbol of our freedom. And we break it in half. And then we take an afikomen bag, because this broken matzah is now called the afikomen. And the way it would happen in my childhood, and the way that I do it because of the way my father always took the afikomen bag, he would take it, put on the kittel, and tuck the afikomen under the kittel, where then he would hide it, and we would all have to find it. But then I came to realize, as I was getting older, this broken matzah, this broken symbol of freedom, is close to my heart when I first put it there. Now the tradition is that when children find the afikomen, they can ask for things. They get a prize. It's this incredibly sweet tradition. Well, what would you ask for? What would I ask? What do I ask for? This broken matzah, this symbol of incomplete freedom, is close to my heart. What do I wish for? The central narrative of Pesach tells me my answer very quickly. We tell the story, Avadim Hayinu, we were slaves. Now we're free. But my wish, our wish must be, that there be, should be no such thing as Avadim anymore. My freedom is incomplete if it's only mine. Liberations are interwoven and interdependent, and until everyone is liberated, until there are no more Avadim, this matzah remains broken. So for all of that sweetness, the vulnerability of the kittel and the hiddenness of freedom, close to our heart, we know, we know in our deepest joys that until everyone feels free, until everyone can relax and lean to the left, until that day, our matzah needs just a little bit more. Our matzah will remain broken. So we pray this year, not only next year in Jerusalem, next year in a truly liberated, redeemed, free world.